Welcome to the ProSnap e sewing kit. The first thing you notice about this kit is that all the little PCBs are put into one bigger PCB so you can see how the circuit works. If you put the battery in positive side up, you can turn on the switch and see four of the LEDs turn on. The last LED will turn on when you push down on the button. For the second part of this tutorial, you can take some wire cutters to remove each little PCB from the ProtoSnap board. To get started sewing, cut off a 12 to 14 inch piece of conductive thread. Make a knot at one end and thread it through the needle at the other end. Coming up from the bottom of the fabric, sew three loops around each hole to ensure good contact to each PCB. Start with the bottom right corner of the battery clip and sew down the positive sides of your first LEDs as well. With the thread coming out of the back of the fabric, sew the thread into a knot. Then cut it to start a new stitch on the other side. Starting a new stitch, sew down the negative sides of the LEDs and sew down one side of the button. Cut and knot it on the bottom and start a new stitch from the other side of the button to the top right of the battery clip. Starting a new stitch, go from the top left of the battery clip up the negative side of these LEDs. At this point, you'll knot your thread and cut it again to start a new stitch. Now sew down the positive sides of your LEDs and sew down one side of your on and off switch. Start a new stitch for the final part going from the other side of the switch to the last hole of the battery clip. Now you're done sewing. You can test out your new lights the same way we did before by turning the switch to on or by using the button to engage the other LEDs.